Okay, here we're going to look at comparing an inference and an observation. So if you think they're interchangeable terms, they're not. We're going to learn what defines each. We're going to come back to this image in a second. Uh, we're going to make some inferences and some observations based on this image. So starting first, you should probably uh, explain what each is. Well, an observation is limited to a description of actions or events without interpretation. The key part there is without interpretation. In contrast to that, an inference is a conclusion we draw based on what we observe. So you may be asked, is something an inference or an observation? Well, that quick kind of also comparison between the two, looking at an inference to start with, it's a conclusion reached as based on evidence and reasoning. It involves a mental process and it's a logical interpretation of observations. It can be based on secondhand experiences. And what it really, what an inference really comes down is it's what you think about from an observation. So that observations, that description without interpretation, it involves paying close attention and gaining information. It can use the five senses. It aids in the ability to generate an inference. It can be experienced firsthand. Things you can kind of see uh, and observe. No interpretation. So let's go back to that first image and make some inferences and some observations. So if we look at this here, observation, we see a woman getting splashed. Now an inference would be it's a hot day and she's getting splashed with water. But we don't know if this is just regular water, um, if this is lemon water, if this is ice water. Uh, we are only inferring something there, again, based on the observations. See she's wearing glasses, getting splashed in the face here. Uh, you can see how uh, we can infer a lot and have very limited observations. I'm going to go through a couple more examples here. So there's again our definitions between observations and inference. So we see some footprints here in the sand. Well, an observation would be the footprints um, in the sand have five toes. Something we can count, something we can observe. The footprints are about 25 centimeters long. You measure that. The space between each pair of footprints is about 60 centimeters. Those are three observations for this image. Inferences, three inferences for this image, are an animal made these footprints, could say a human made these footprints, and the human was walking. We're inferring that because we're not sure um, if it was walking, could be running, uh, but based on the spacing, we're going to infer that this individual was walking. Let's go through a last example here, observations and inferences. So I want you to pause the video now and make some observations and some inferences for this particular image here. Hopefully you paused the video there, made some observations and inferences. Now I want you to do that same process again with a little bit more information. Now what observations and inferences can you make from this position number two? Hopefully you're done pausing the video there. I want you to do this one last time, one third time here for position three. Let's make some observations and some inferences for position three. So you can see how as we gain more uh, information, we're able to make a little bit more precise inferences maybe. Uh, and also be very careful on making pure observations that aren't a mental process or aren't influenced by maybe our opinions or biases. Okay, last image here. Taking a look here at the, uh, the ferry here located between Rocky Hill and Glastonbury, Connecticut. I want you just to observe this, and I've got a couple questions on the next slide. So if you take about, pause the video here, take about 30 seconds to look at everything and in and around the ferry, the scenery in the background, the foreground, what's on the ferry, so on and so forth. Let's see how good your observation skills are. After you've taken a pause there, see if you can answer these questions here. How many vehicles are on the ferry? What's the color of the van on the ferry? Are there any other boats in the image? What's the name of the barge? What direction was the ferry traveling? And how many people do you see on the ferry? You can go back and compare and take a look. And to, so you can compare your answers. I have the last slide being the answers. And you're welcome to then go through and compare your answers to the ones I provided here. Hopefully you're very good at making observations and making inferences and being able to distinguish the difference between the two.